Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the perimeter of a simple fraction of a circle. Now in a previous video we saw what the circumference of a full circle was. And remember the circumference of a circle just means the perimeter of the circle. And we had two different formulas. If that was the radius of the circle, which remember is the distance between the centre of the circle and the circumference, then the circumference of a circle the perimeter of the circle, we could either write as 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r, where r is the radius. And remember, this is the Greek letter pi, and that's just a number. Pi has the value 3.141, and the digits go on forever, but we can get pi now calculated by using shift and then this golden pi here, or it might be different depending on what calculator you have. But there's another formula as well. If we had the full diameter of the circle, d for diameter, then we could also write the formula as pi times the diameter. And that's just because two lots of the radius forms a diameter. So I can replace this two lots of the radius with just the diameter of the circle. So they're the same thing, really. Now, the reason I've said it's the perimeter of this shape rather than the circumference is because circumference only refers to the perimeter of a full circle. If you start dealing with fractions of circles and adding extra lengths on as well, we don't have a circumference anymore. We've just got a bog standard perimeter. So let's work out the perimeter of this shape. Notice that we've got two lengths here. We've got this curvy length at the top and we've got this length at the bottom, this straight length. So we're going to add the two lengths together to get the full perimeter of this shape. Let's work out the length of this curvy bit first. Can you see that this is half a full circle? So what we do is we find the circumference of a full circle first using this length here. Now can you see, if I was to continue the circle on, that this length of 10 here is the full diameter of the circle. So I'm going to use this second formula here. So the full circle has perimeter or circumference, pi times the diameter, so pi times 10. And if you put that on a calculator, it will just simplify it to 10 pi. You could convert it to a decimal, but it's best to do that at the end. But we just want half a circle, so our perimeter is going to be half of 10 pi, so it's 10 pi over 2. But then we've also got this straight length at the bottom of 10, so we're going to add on 10. Now if we just try to simplify this a bit, if we've got 10 lots of pi and we divide it by 2, then we have 5 lots of pi, so we've got 5 pi plus 10. Now you might wonder if this can be simplified. Does this become like, I don't know, 15 pi? But it doesn't because these are not like terms. This is a pi term, but this doesn't have a pi in it. If you had 5 pi plus 10 pi, then yes, that would be 15 pi. But because these are a mixture of different terms, you can't simplify it any further. So we've got this, and we need our unit of centimetres. And we could put this in our calculator, so 5 pi plus 10. You don't need to write the time symbol. And that gives you 25.7 centimetres to three significant figures. What about the second one? Well, this time we've got three lengths. We've got this length here, we've got this length here, and we've got the curvy length as well. Let's start with the hardest bit, the curvy length. Notice this is a quarter of a full circle. So let's work out the circumference of a full circle first. Well, this time, if I was to continue the circle one, can you see that we've only got the distance from the centre of the circle to the circumference here? So the radius this time is 6 rather than the diameter being 6. So if our radius is 6, let's use this first formula. So 2 times pi times r, 2 times pi times the radius of 6. Now you could put this on a calculator, it would simplify it for you. But well, 2 times 6 is 12, so it's 12 pi. Remembering we put the number on front of the pi rather than saying pi 12. But we want just a quarter of that circle. So our perimeter is going to be that divided by 4, a quarter of it. But we want to add on the other lengths as part of our perimeter. So we've got this length. We've also got this length and this length. Now, the radius of the circle is 6. We've got to add on this 6. But this is also the radius of the circle. So this must also be 6. So we're adding on 6, another 6. That's 12 in total. And if we just simplify that, 12 lots of pi divided by 4 is 3 pi. And add 12, 
and that's going to be in centimetres. And again, I could shove this into my calculator and that would give the answer in decimal form just like I had up here.